breaking down the sheet goods, three quarter inch plywood. Uh, this is gonna be the construction of the actual box itself. I'm cutting the dados on all four sides of the chest. Then this is where the bottom piece will fit inside. Right here, I'm cutting the um, the miter, so that way that the um, the corners will meet up and I'll have a nice, clean look. Rather than a, um, you know, I could have done a butt joint, but I like the miter joints a little bit better. Looks a lot better. Right here, I'm cutting the bottom of the chest. And now I'm doing the actual glue up of the chest carcass. We'll get the bottom piece glued in place and all four sides. And here we are adding trim along the base. And right here, I'm, uh, as I'm gluing on the trim, I'm using my uh, my pin gun or my brad nailer, I can't remember which one it is, just to help it secure itself so, till the glue dries up. And this is where I'm starting construction on the actual tray that goes inside the chest. Um, I was just using my calipers to make a half circle. And this is going to be like the little handles so you can take the tray in and out. I'm using the uh, pocket hole jig here, so I'll be using uh, pocket screws to um, 
make this tray. And here I decided to go with uh, some 2x12s that I'm going to use for the top of the chest. Uh, I was going to use plywood on this, but decided that I wanted it to be a little more beefier. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put some Greek letters in the top and uh, use some epoxy. And I figured also that would probably work a whole lot better in the pond. I'm just adding the uh, trim to the top. Again, just use some two by fours, cut miters on all four sides, make it look, have a nice little clean look. I'm taking those two 2x12 two pieces of pine and I'm gluing them together to make one uh, single piece of wood for the top. I'm putting the, uh, the hinges on this strip that's going to go on the back edge, on the top back edge of the chest. And um, I'm going to connect these hinges on and then I'll connect the hinges to the um, main top. Right here, um, I printed out these Greek letters and then taped them to the top of the uh, chest. And I'm using my router to basically route out the traced area. I probably did this the hardest way possible. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure it could have been some easier ways to do this. But hey, I'm still learning. So.
Uh, I want to take this opportunity right now just to uh, thank everybody. Finally got my 1,000 subscribers. Still got a few hours left to go uh, to get my 4,000 hours of view time. So if you're not doing anything, click on a couple of my videos. Watch all of it. Or, you know, if you just want to watch 30 seconds or a minute of each one or whatnot. Any little bit of help. But uh, I truly appreciate everybody that has uh, subscribed to my channel and watched my videos. I uh, really, really, truly appreciate it. Now, I just want to say that I lost a lot of video footage as far as the sanding, the painting, uh, and pouring in the uh, epoxy into these spaces. Uh, the finish, the prep, all that stuff. I lost all that footage. So I apologize, but it was boring anyways. So coming up is going to be the uh, finished product. And again, thank you everybody for checking out my videos, subscribing to the channel. And hopefully I'll be getting over this code here pretty soon. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.